everyone. Uh, so yeah, uh, Rashmi uh, brought up a very important point and a very interesting point about artificial intelligence. Uh, you know, you must have all heard about robots being introduced in the market. You must have heard about bots, uh, robotic process automation, and uh, you know the term called artificial intelligence. So many of you may think, what what is this? Uh, recently, uh, there was an event organized uh, in Hyderabad, uh, the World uh, Internet Forum. So this is the congregation of people from all across the world where we discussed about the evolution of World Wide Web, WWW, or the Internet. And this event was not hosted by a human being, but it was hosted by a robot. And the name of the robot was Sophia. She hosted the event. Could you have imagined this, uh, you know, five years back or two years back? So this is where, you know, the technology is moving. Robots are taking over. Artificial intelligence is taking over. We have heard about, uh, you know, uh, in the US, many cities having automated cars, self-driving cars, right? Uh, basically, the computers and the robots are actually driving the cars. Uh, you don't need any human intervention. You just get into the car and, you, you know, let the... Uh, you know the robot know where you're going and it will figure out from its own maps uh, that your destination it will figure out the traffic and drive you safely over there so that's that's the era that we are getting into uh, I was listening to a speech by uh, Raman Roy uh, which he delivered at NASCOM he mentioned about uh, you know uh, the, the world today having more than 2.4 billion social media users so there are more than, uh, you know, 2.4 billion social media users in the world today. And these are the number of people who are actually using the mobile phones to access social media, posting, uh, you know, their uh, news, their feeds, and interacting with uh, different kinds of communities. So that's the kind of, you know, uh, intervention that we have from the technology into our daily life today. Now, how do we bring this into our uh, daily work processes? Uh, we are uh, one of the largest accounting service provider in the state of Gujarat, where we employ almost about 600 uh, qualified accountants, one of the largest pool of accountants that any company has in the state of Gujarat, and we're proud of, of, of that. Our aim is to reach 3,000 employees within the next three to four years, and this 3,000 employees will just not be human beings being deployed uh, and working out of our offices in Gujarat, but it will also constitute of maybe 100 to 150 bots, right? So it will have 100 to 150 robots also working with us along with these 3,000 employees. And that is what artificial intelligence is all about. What these bots will do is, these bots will actually take the manual processes that we have in the company and at our clients' processes, convert them and make them automated. Right, so that we can improve the process efficiency, improve the profits of the clients that we work with, and uh, you know deliver value. So that's what we as an organization are very keen to. And what could be a better place than Gujarat? I'm amazed to see the amount of skill set that is available out here: technical skills, accounting skills, people with passion. When we recruit employees, when we get them on board, when we train them, and when they start working. The zeal and the enthusiasm that they so show to learn and to deliver is amazing. And I have not seen this in any other state. So we are very proud to be associated uh, with the state of Gujarat and being here. And we would love to grow this company to 3000 and beyond, uh, you know, with, with the support of uh, all of you out here. And I would like to thank Jeff and the British High Commission for extending their support to us. Uh, we would love to grow this organization with your support, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>